How's it going, guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome to Fatal Frame 5, Maiden of Blackwater. So, uh, the channel kind of started with Fatal Frame, so I'm really excited to be bringing Fatal Frame back to the channel. In the first year that I had YouTube, I did every single... Fatal Frame game, Fatal Frames 1 through 4 and Spirit Camera. So I'm excited to be bringing the new Fatal Frame game to the channel. I'm gonna be making long videos for this, probably around 40 minutes to an hour. The first one will probably do about 40 minutes. I'm really excited. It's gonna be an awesome playthrough because I love Fatal Frame and I just love the gameplay of Fatal Frame. It's a game about exercising ghosts with a camera. You have the camera obscura and apparently we get to use like the gamepad, the Wii U gamepad, to exercise the ghosts. And it's just it's gonna be so cool. Let's just uh, give it a start. I think there's gonna be some relations to the other games. I think there's a recurring character. I don't know if the main story will though, because Fatal Frame 1 to 3 had some a lot of linkages together. Lurking in the deep. As Mew, no, no Mew, that's different. There's so many M names. There's Maya. And there's Mio, Mayu from the second game. There's Mio, and then there's Miku. Yeah, Miku. She was the one the first game, and it was Miku Hinasaki. Yeah, but you're Mio Hinasaki. I think this is her daughter. Maybe. Spirited away in the vicinity of Mount Hikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. Once this girl is Mio Hinasaki, she wakens to find herself in an old, half-flooded building. Oh, that. It's not a good place to wake up. Oh, this is gonna- I'm so, I'm so looking forward to it. It's like a next-gen Fatal Frame game. Although the ones on the Wii did look pretty good too. But these are gonna be even better! Or this one. Is that hair? Of course there's creepy black hair. Of course. I'll be disappointed if there was anything less than creepy black hair. Yeah, that's, that would be a really crappy place to wake up. She doesn't seem too frightened about the fact that she just woke up, like, drenched in water. I would be like, ah, what the hell's going on? And I'd flail around a little bit. That's not good. Like, that even needed to be said. <laughs> I like the way your skin looks when you're wet. Oh, my controller's rumbling. It's on my crotch. This isn't good. <laughs> Look behind you! Oh, she actually seems mildly afraid. That's good. I'm proud of you. My god! Oh my god, I gotta play already! This is... Jesus, we've hit the ground running! This is a little crazy! I have to get out of here. No shit, Sherlock! Okay, let's just take a quick peek around. Oh, there we go. There's there's the doorway. Oh my god! What do I gotta do? Don't tell me I gotta shake it! I don't have much room to shake! I'll break my gamepad! Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, let's get out of here! Okay, clench those butt cheeks and run away! My butt cheeks are clenched. Is there a way to run? Yes, with the L button I can run at least a little faster. Oh boy! Stop whispering in my ears, ghosts. If we're gonna whisper something, whisper something sensual, please. I have to find a way out of here. Yep, let's do it. Of course we gotta find out of here. An R to look around. We already went over that. Oh hey, I can check stuff. It looks like there's a cave wall on the other side of the lattice. I can see some stone statues out in the darkness. I must be underground. Now, how do I get out of here? Okay, let's get out of here. I want my camera! I want to find my camera, but we never really start with the camera, do we? There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out that way. <gasps> Hurry up! Don't look! Just get out of there! Oh my god! For a ghost, she's got nice boobs! Yeah, of course we gotta get out! Oh, sh okay, run to the end of the corridor! Oh, oops. Oh, no, it was supposed to do that. I thought maybe I was too slow. Acid's bad. 
Oh my god. That was pretty creepy. Move L down to turn- I don't want to turn back! <laughs> no! Why am I gonna turn back? Press ZL to point the camera- I have a camera? What? Really? Oh, the ca I thought it meant like the Fatal Frame Camera Obscura. It's just like the- <laughs> the view angle. I was like, why didn't I get that? Where's she keeping it? It's just one thing after another. There's no escape! It's the black water maiden, so yeah, of course, water's a key issue in this game. It's a main theme. Don't get wet. Ah, too late. Okay, yeah, I got it! I know how to turn back! Oh, you gotta turn back and then press ZL. I see your tricks. That's cool. Oh, hey, it's open. That's magical. Okay, this is this game started really quick. Holy crap, Ola! Let's wade through the water. Oh, her clothes. I like the effects of her clothes. They look good when they're wet. Not in a perverted way. Okay, I'm just saying. Like, I like the effects. It's nice. I wasn't looking. She's wearing a white shirt, but I wasn't looking. Just Pandora's box, here we go. Or it's gonna be a jack-in-the-box, but a ghost. Or water. Hope you're thirsty. Mew. Oh god, not the black hair! Oh no, it's water, it's more water, it looks like creepy black hair though. Oh, it's black hair! It's, yeah, oh, it's black! Oh god! Still looks fairly calm, all things considered. Jeez, way to get in my face! Ow! Oh, holy crap! Do I have to continue playing? <laughs> I don't want to find out the mysteries! Mew Hinasaki has disappeared. No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. How'd she get there? A mountain is where the events of this story take place. Thanks. We follow the fates of three people. Yuri, Ren, and Mew. It is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. <laughs> that intro was so unnecessary, I like it. By the way, this is a scary story, in case you didn't know by all the ghosts flying around. It's a terrifying tale. It's too much info. Okay, now we're playing as Yuri. Yuri Kozukuta, Kozuk Kozukata, I got it, okay? I just misread that, a vanishing trace. Shadow reading. Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Ikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability known as shadow reading enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. Yeah, that's actually, um, so the other characters have that ability because there's like the dangerous ghosts and then there's the ghosts that we just see, um, like fragments of their memories of things that they've done or how they died and stuff like that. This is not unlike the psychometry practiced elsewhere. Yuri Kozukata accompanies Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability, to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. Seeing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. <coughs> yeah, I just coughed on camera. And I almost cried because I was holding it in the whole time I was reading that. <laughs> My life is hard. First world problems.
涙も流れない。Wow. Well, don't commit suicide. Don't do it! No! It, there's people that will care about you. I swear to God, if you ask them, they'll tell you that. <laughs> there's my camera. I would be her student. Please teach me. I'd love to go ghost hunting with her. That'd be so cool. Take me along. Why? Why do only Fatal Frame girls get to have all the fun? I gotta do what? Okay. Oh, geez. I wish I could show you guys what's going on in the gamepad. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. okay, yeah. Should have smiled. You were looking a little too forlornly. Move Al down to back away from me, so Oh, I see, I can move around. Okay. So I got a portrait, that's good. I still don't... Okay, that's... Oh, I gotta hold it vertically! Oh my god, this is crazy! It's like I'm working with the phone! Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> any camera's like this. But I mean, like, you know... Jeez! It just feels like a phone because, like, the screen's like this, right? It feels like a smartphone, right? Um, okay, now what does it say next? Hold down Z1 to lock onto your targets. Scare and press ZR to take a photo. Okay! I think I got it. Feel free to take more pictures. Oh, chicka chicka bow wow! I'm, I'm not doing it, I swear to god. Oh, chicka! I, I'm not childish, I swear to God, I'm not childish. I didn't take a picture of your boobs. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm not childish. This is gonna be hard, my microphone's in front of me, gonna be jumping all around with cords and cables connected and stuff. Okay, I gotta unplug this cable. It's charged up enough. Okay, I can touch that to display the map. Oh, there's a map here, by the way. That, that's a map. I'm trying to show you guys. I wish I could record this, like, um, the touch screen. It'd be cool. But that's okay. You could totally play on the gamepad, by the way, because while I'm holding this, it's showing exactly what's going on in the screen right now. So I could just totally play on the gamepad if I so chose. Guys, I'm gonna take a picture of you. And it's it's not really you. That's, that's too bad. I <laughs> like how she said, let's do this before it gets dark. What? Am I being a little bit of a slowpoke? Okay, yeah, I'm just looking for items. Alright. Are you following me? Oh yeah, she is following me. That's good. Okay, let's go on. I didn't see any items. I don't even know if we'd get any items, you know? Oh, there are- there's something to take a picture of, though. Hey! Hands. I got a spirit photograph. Hands in the water. That's cool. That's nice. See, we're already doing a good job, huh? I'm a really good ghost hunter. Let's check through here. Ah! Boards have been nailed through the window. Some light is seeping in through the cracks, but the inside of the building is still quite dark. Alright. 
Any items for me? I played enough survival horror to know there's just items everywhere. And so it's getting the best of me. Okay, let's just keep on going then. This doesn't look good. Am I gonna have to fight you? Maybe we should say hello or something. Like, are you alive? Hello? Anybody? I'm just housekeeping. Here. Oh! What? Did she not see it? I have a bad feeling that Hisaka's gonna die. Hisaka, don't die, please. You're my favorite teacher. I would love to be taught by you. When I get the answer wrong, you could slap my butt. Is there anything in here? There's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The water must have washed it all down. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the room next over, but it's just as flooded. But maybe there's something to take a picture of. No, there's not. <laughs> I'm like a child with a new toy. I can't help it. I just these controls are kind of fun. Oh, that's where we came from. I'm silly. I got all turned around. My bad. Um, that's where the ghost was. I don't think we need to go in there. What? Okay. Oh, that's neat. It'll show if we get lost, it'll show us where to go. Okay. That's like dead space. That's super convenient. I love that. Good. Yeah, okay. I yeah, I got it. I'm on it. Okay, good. There's something shining. Let's go touch the shining thing. I have a good feeling about that. But there might be more ghosts! Oh my god, camera's getting- Yes! Oh! <laughs> that was so close! Oh, I had to remember the controls really quick there. Whew! That was definitely a shadow of the past. In places where the traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade cameras. Yes, so we need to get as many as we can. I want to upgrade my camera, poos. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's going down this way, but there was a shiny object over here. Let's get the shiny object, of course. Shiny objects come first. Oh, I remember this. You gotta hold it down, but ghosts can grab your hands, and it's really spooky. An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it. Mount Ikami has been long been considered the holy ground for centuries. People have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twilight Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to, fi used to find rest at Ichidu Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned and Ichidu Manor was buried under a slew of rocks resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichidu Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Ikami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Yeah, this is in like the suicide forest in Japan, which actually exists, by the way. Perhaps it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture. The mountain is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill seekers interested in the occult. Ooh, and that's why we're here. Kinda. Yeah. Definitely. I'm a thrill seeker. Move with- okay, good. I'm glad there was no panty shot. 
In like horror games like this, I don't like there to be a lot of fan service, to tell you the truth. It really takes me out of it. I like my fan service to be only in fan service games. What? I can find out where keys are by taking a picture? Psychic photographs. When you look around through the lens of the camera obscure, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on a photograph them to expose places or items they have a connection with. Find the locations of the photographs and you may discover some clues. Okay. Just taking a picture of a doorknob. That's pretty good. Hold ZL to lock on the square. Oh, I gotta hold ZL to do it. Didn't I already get it? Do I actually have to do that? Yeah, I actually have to lock on to it. Okay. It's not good enough to just take a picture of it. Um... I... I don't know where that is. <laughs> there's like coming out of a closet and there's a doll on top of the chest of drawers. This might be where the... Yeah, it is, but I don't know where that is. Find the place shown in the photograph. It's somewhere in this building. To view the photographs again, open the main menu and go to the tokens tab. Well... Jeez, I gotta do all the heavy lifting, huh? I have a really bad feeling about this. Teacher! Oh my god, teacher! What the hell? I want to miss it! Why are you shy there? Ghosty ghost, you're so shy. It is so hard to get a full ghost list. The ghost list is basically like all the ghosts you take pictures of um, is saved in a ghost list and like to get them all in the game is actually it's quite insanely hard but there are people who have done it well there was a there is a door here right yeah it's got to be in here anybody there's nothing to lock onto though that doll head is super friggin creepy though hey smile for the camera hello Hello. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting that I have this thing right here. I should be like looking into it instead I'm just like looking at the screen. Okay, whatever. You have nothing for me. Okay, good. Oh god, there's gonna be a ghost that's gonna grab my hand at any time now. Okay, yep, yeah, this is definitely the one. I, I know where to... I I guess later on it'll be like important for it to show the map, but there's literally like a room away. Oh god! I got what? What? How did I not get you? I got I gotta get his face, I guess. That's stuck. That sucks! There's a step up here in this part of the floorboards, I think is display alcove. Okay. Oh that really sucks. I thought that was Aww. Thought I was gonna get some points. I like points. They make me feel special when I get lots of points. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'll take a look around. Should I take a look around with the camera though? Yeah, there is something there. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Tutorial, Phantom Exposé. The camera screw will act to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring these items back to this world by photographing the place they were taken from within the correct angle and position. Okay. Good. Oh, you it's It has to be the correct position, too. What? Oh, there we go. It goes right on the gamepad, I see. So it- Wow! You actually have to, like, tilt it diagonally or whatever, so- That's okay. Aye aye, Cap'n. I gotcha. You gotta take a zany, like, diagonal picture. Like I'm a crazy photographer or something. This <laughs> Yeah, it's a good idea. She's talking really creepy. <clears throat> I'd be a little surprised if I were you. 
Be like, we just took a picture of a, an empty spot and a book suddenly appeared. The alcove wall has come loose, revealing black soil behind it. This whole room must be buried. I got a bad- I have a feeling that we're not gonna get out of here before nighttime. I just- there's a small, tiny little inkling. The door just shut behind me. Teacher, don't go too far! Oh shit, it's a ghost! Get the- Oh god, no! I'm too slow! Oh, poopy la doopy! God, give me some time, game. Seriously, come on. That's it, I'm gonna go in- I'm- What? I'm not listening. I want to see. I want to see his secret. Yep. I want to see. Hello? That's right, I just betrayed your advice. <laughs> Is there anything on here? I don't see anything on the camera. Although, didn't that- that doll head certainly turned, didn't it? Doll head, you- you're creepy. Okay, let's get out of here. I wish it just showed the camera obscure, uh, stuff on the TV, too. Because I don't like looking like this, there's just not enough space where I'm at right now. Okay, Teach, I'm sorry. I was just busy betraying your advice, that's all. Hey, Teach, why don't we go upstairs? There's gotta be something up here. Maybe there's a jo- Oof. Jeez, she ran back and got in my face. I'm sorry. Hey, it showed there was something over here. Hello? No? Oh, there's nothing I can lock on to, okay. Oh, this is where shit goes down. Here we go. I knew it was coming. Hey, don't get too separated from Teach, okay? You could probably prevent this whole game from happening. <gasps> Don't get the camera wet. We're gonna need it. Oh, that was really creepy. Like the liquid was pouring from his eyes and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Oh no, am I actually gonna have to fight this guy? Ghost will try to attack or grab you. I got it. Okay. The ghost actually counter attack by photographing. Yes. Oh, I gotta match the angle. What? There we go. Oh my god, you go. Oh, this is crazy gameplay. You actually gotta match the angle that the ghost is coming at you. That's insane. The ghost recoiled when you took a photograph of it. Maybe taking more will exercise it for good. Fighting ghosts. Photographs is weak. Photograph a ghost's weak points to deal damage. Okay. Capture the rectangle in the center of the screen is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you are out of film. Jeez, La Bomb Bees, here we go. Uh, make sure the square is in the. Okay, I got. Yeah, I, oh no, it wasn't. No, it was a little bit. I, I got. I got you. Boom. I guess I'm doing some decent damage to it. Okay. Are you gonna die yet? Am I doing a good job? I- Oh, shit! Spirit fragments break off when a ghost takes damage after a time they're reabsorbed. Photograph the fragments before that- What? You gotta- Targets and shutter chance. When five or more targets are in view, taking a photograph will knock back the ghosts. The capture will go red during the shutter chance. Keep adjusting your position so that you have at least five targets, including ghosts and spirit fragments, in view to trigger stutter chance. I... I totally know what's going on. Oh. There's two! I got two in one picture. 
There's two again. But I want to get multiple ones. There we go. Is that five? I guess that's five. Oh, oh shit! When the capture area flashed red as a ghost attacking you, you can take a fatal frame shot. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. You need to capture the ghost mid attack. Apart from a knockback of a fatal frame, shots trigger fatal time when you can take photos in close succession without using film. Fatal frame shots are very useful and spirits are too close for you to trigger shutter chance. Okay, I got it. I'm a pro. Oh god, fatal frame! Boom! There we go. Find ghosts. I got. I got you. Oh. Tutorial: Attack range and attack power. The camera obscure only has an effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far away will not take any damage. The bigger the target, the more damage the camera will deal. The closer it goes. So fatal frames are better than shutter chance, I guess. Um. Okay. I see, there's specific targets on the ghost. Yeah, that's five! Boom, shakalaka, shutter chance, baby. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? Oh, God! Are you down below, up high? I can't seem to find you. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, there you are. Just had to go out of camera mode. Don't worry, crisis averted, guys. Eric Van Wilderman's on the case. Oh, there's those too. Wish I grabbed a picture of those. Okay. Yeah, I got a shutter chance, baby. I see, see, there's four targets on the body that I'm seeing right now. And there's... And there's one, like, thing that was fluttering around, like a spirit thing. I guess you can't really see it from your point of view, though, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Hey, why were you just sitting down there, teacher? Whatever, now she's learned a little bit more about the world. You're not alone, you got your teacher! Well, maybe she was alone there, I see. That's like her past, right? She was alone. And then she found teacher. Hosak, I, I forget her name. I'm bad. Don't do it, you're gonna regret it. Always with the creepy rituals in Fatal Frame. Always. Don't do it! You're gonna regret that moment for the rest of your life. It's kind of a cool ritual though, how they kill them, and then they fall into like a box of water. Their corpse is sealed there. It's kind of neat. In a sick way. Who are you? Oh, well th this is probably gonna be one of the other playable characters. There was a male name in there. Hisoka, that was, I was right, I was close. Hisoka,来たのか。見つかったそうです。本当か。受け取っておきました。<laughs> 
It's from your dream, isn't it? Ooh, man! Heebie-jeebies. I would feel heebie-jeebies. While learning about shadow reading from Hisoka, Yudi used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn at Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo, so that's Ren Hojo, the other playable character we'll have. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream or a supposed childhood memory? This question has plagued him for some time. Oh my god, it could have been a childhood memory? No, you didn't do that, I doubt- come on, Hojo. I- I don't think so. Okay, tell me my score. Rank C, C for cool. Pfft. Jeez. Yeah, I know, I didn't get many points, okay? I'm sorry. Held three, I didn't buy any- okay, good. Let's get- get out of here, screen. Stop saying I'm bad. Alright, well that's cool. So, um, we did the first drop, which is what the chapters, I guess. Our first drop, second drop, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Um, that's neat. I have costumes. Let's just check this out. I'm gonna end the episode here, by the way, so... I guess there's lots of different costumes we can get. That's cool. For Hojo, Yudi, and Miu. So those are our three main characters. I like how you can go back to the chapters, how there's chapter select. That's really neat. I don't think the other games had chapter select. You'd have to play through the whole entire game again. That is super cool, so I can go back and, like, get a better rank if I really wanted to. Um, wow, yeah, this is cool. Well, I really hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I know this is probably, like, just shy of 40 minutes. But, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here because it's a perfect place to end it. Now, <laughs> I gotta say, this video felt kind of weird to make. Reason being is I wish you guys could really see what's on this gamepad while I'm playing because the camera it looks different on here. There's little charge things and you can see where you're shooting at. And so it might be kind of weird for you guys just to see what's going on on the screen and not on there. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully it won't be too much of a deterrence for the playthrough. I mean, hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm really looking forward to bringing this to the channel because I've played all the Fatal Frame games in the first year of the channel back in 2013. I played Fatal Frame 1, 2, 3, 4 and Spirit Camera and it was really cool. Well, really hope you're enjoying. I'll see you in future videos on the channel and as always guys, peace.